Ben 2, Session 13. Readers don't give up, they try, try again. Have you ever heard the story of the little engine that could? Well, in the story, a little engine had the very big job of getting to the top of a very high mountain, pulling a very long train behind him. Let's watch this video and see. The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper A little red train rolled across the tracks. She carried food and toys and stuffed animals and dolls for the children of the mountain village. Oh no! The little red train stopped! She ran out of coal! What will all the good little girls and boys in the mountain village do without the toys and food? Chugging down the track came a shiny gold engine. All the toys of the train yelled for help just as he pulled up. Shiny new engine, please help us! Our engine ran out of coal and we need to get to the mountain village by sunrise tomorrow. So the children can play with us and have good food to eat. Please! <laughs> I pull you... Well, I'm a passenger engine. I only pull the richest and best dressed of people, like me. Especially not toys and food. Now get out of my way. I have business to attend to. <laughs> the shiny new engine rolled away to the roundhouse, where trains go when they have nothing to do. Oh, it'll be okay, said the clown. We'll just have to keep on asking passersby. I'm sure someone will be kind enough to help us. Just then, the toys spotted another train coming their way. It was a big and strong engine. Look! There's a big engine that could easily pull us over the mountain! Excuse me, Big Fright Engine! Our engine has run out of coal and we need to get to the mountain village by sunrise tomorrow so the children can have toys to play with and good food to eat! You want me to pull you? Just so some kids can have toys to play with? Huh, I pull large freight cars filled with important things like machines that print newspapers and brand muffins. And anyway, I'm really tired. And off he steamed to the roundhouse. It's okay, said the clown. I'm sure we'll be able to find someone to help us. After waiting a few minutes, the clown spotted another engine. Look, there's another engine coming. She looks very small, but maybe she will help us. The little blue engine stopped when she saw the clown's flag. What's the matter, friends? She said. Please help us. Our engine ran out of coal and we are stuck here. We need to get to the mountain village so the good children there can have toys to play with and good food to eat. Please help us. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. I've never even been over the mountain before. The little blue engine knew it was going to be hard to get over the mountain but she thought of the children and how sad they would be if they didn't get their toys. I don't know how we will get over the mountain, but I think I can, said the little blue engine. All the toys celebrated and hopped into their cars. The little blue engine began pulling the train, saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. The train started moving. All the toys cheered for the little blue engine. We think, we think you can. can! We think you can! We think you can! I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster, faster, and faster the little engine climbed. The little blue engine reached the top of the mountain. Hooray! Hooray! Cheered all the toys. Thank, Thank you, hi, little, little blue engine. engine. Now all the good boys and girls can get their toys and food. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say it as she puffed steadily down the mountain. I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. He didn't know if he would make it all the way up, so he said to himself over and over, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And now we know he made it to the top. You see, he could have just given up, but he didn't. He kept on trying and trying. Do you want to know the grown-up word for that? It's persistence. That little engine was very persistent. He didn't give up. He kept on trying. Readers need to be persistent too. Today I want to remind you that readers don't give up. 
They try and try again. If you try to read across the word and it still doesn't make sense, you can look at the picture again and reread the page and ask, what word would make sense? What other word might it be? This is a nursery rhyme that some of you may have heard before. It's called Little Miss Muffet. Nursery rhymes like this one have been around for hundreds of years and sometimes the words can be pretty tricky. Let's remember that little engine and what he said to himself to push all the way up that mountain. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Let's get started. But if we get to a tricky word, will you remind me to keep trying? Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a... Oh, that is a tricky word. I don't know it. Just forget it. You're right. I can't give up. I can look at the picture. It does look like she's sitting on something. A chair. I need to remember to read through every part of the word. Hmm, that can't be chair. It starts with a T. I'm going to stretch my word out. Uff it. Tough it. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Boys and girls, I'm really impressed that you helped figure out that tricky word of this poem. You worked really hard and we had to use different strategies. You didn't give up and you encouraged me not to give up too. There are some challenging words in this poem and you didn't let that scare you. This class is full of really persistent readers. I'll bet you can use that same I know I can attitude when you go back to read the books in your baggies or your books from home or on reading A to Z. Who's up for that challenge? Happy reading!